organic tofu. Press. You know, drain your tofu. It's full of water. Pop it in the press. And this has to press overnight to drain, drain all the water out, and then you can begin cooking with it. Thing is, with tofu, it's a bit like a sponge, so it absorbs whatever is put into it so if you add herbs and spices and any types of liquids it will absorb into the tofu just like a sponge so that is pressed you can hear the water already because it's starting to push it out and that will be pressed in the fridge overnight and then we will take that out tomorrow and marinate it so this is a tofu that's been pressed overnight and what I've done is, is I have put the marinade in there and what I've used is liquid smoke, paprika, Chinese five spice and Caribbean seasoning mild and a little bit of oil. So what I'm going to do is put the lid on this tub shake it up so all the juices soak in and see what I'm like after that. So I've shook it up a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more liquid so smoke because I know it will be soaked in into the tofu because it acts like a sponge. So I've drained the water out and I've soaked it with that and some more paprika some Chinese five spice, just a little bit, and Caribbean seasoning. Sorry, the Caribbean seasoning had wasn't coming out. Loads of Caribbean seasoning, and then another splash. Soak that in of liquid smoke. This smells lush. Really, really nice. Also, gonna add a bit, some dried onion. So, there, I've shook it all up. <laughs> so, I'm gonna leave that overnight so the tofu will absorb now all of those liquid smoke, paprika, Chinese five spice, and Caribbean seasoning. And we'll see what we're going to do with that tomorrow. Hey, 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 we're back to finish off this tofu recipe. So you need the tofu that you marinated last night and add that to some oil. Let that fry away nicely. You might have to steep um, your tub that you used for your marinade last night because it will be absolutely stinging. So I've got that hob on five and I'm going to add a cup of frozen peas and I'm going to add a cup with pre-chopped um, about half an onion and about a clove of garlic that I pre-chopped and froze and um, because with these types of dishes I like to freeze and use as I need instead of wasting so I'll put the garlic in there so we've got our frozen peas we've got our garlic and we've got our onions and we're just going to simmer this on five until you start seeing it changing and then you can turn it down to three. I haven't decided what I want to have with this yet but you could have rice with it or you could have this to a 
an Indian type salad. God, I'm going to let that simmer away. And then once the tofu started cooking, and then we'll be on to our next phase. Okay, this is cooking away nicely. It smells absolutely divine. All those flavours coming together and soaking into tofu. I'm going to add, these are vegan Thai jasmine rice pots because I only want a small amount of rice. So I'm just going to use one of these vegan rice pots and add that. I've never used these rice pots before, um, but apparently I was just going to add them to the frying pan there, but it says, it says the microwave or Well, I'm just going to boil it in a pan. I got these given in a hamper, so I, I didn't personally buy these. I've never seen them before. I normally have the fried rice, but these are obviously going to be boiled. I don't eat white rice neither. Normally I have whole grain rice or brown rice, but these are white rice. Um, I'm just using up what I was given. And swap those all over. Oh, it smells lovely. Two tablespoons of Bombay mix because I can. In fact, I'll do three. Three of Bombay. Mix that in. Yummy, yummy. Starting to boil there. Back on six. I'm looking for a nice sauce to add to these, and uh, it seems that that's one of me the most uh, I've got most of. Now, what do I do? Do I do satay sauce, which is they've got a peanuts and a bit of a chili kick to it, or do I go with spicy firecracker, which is red hot. Now I've got a lot of spicy, mmm, I've got a lot of spicy herbs in there, so I might go for the roasted peanuts with chili, the satay sauce. Right, yeah. And this will just add to that. Starting to brown off there nicely. So this is a satay sauce. I normally buy blue dragon sauces, but this is an Asda one. It's a quarter of a price. Yep, very messy. This is so flavorful. Really is. Clean that mess up. 
Next side in a bit. Well me. Oh that sauce here was brown and really, really nice. Rice is boiling nicely. I'll splash the oil. I don't want to smell the rain. That is the atmosphere. Starting to spit at me a bit, so I'll put the splash. Looking good. Smells good. I don't want it completely mush, but boiled enough to add to the dish. Get my little sieve, and I'm going to rinse this off. Put that back in. So I've saved that off. I'll bake myself a spoon. Take the splatter tag back off. Yep, brown and nice. Still spitting. Turn that down a bit. Oh, what a nice. dish but because I've added the satay sauce and the Bombay mix it's obviously not good for my allergies so I'm now going to put some spinach down Sprinkle some basil. Now we're ready to serve a portion. for the taste test. Bit of tofu and rice on there. Really hot. <laughs> Not as in spicy hot as in just burn my mouth hot. That's lovely. So that's what I'm going to have for my tea. Oh, it has got a kick to it there. Just right at the back of my throat, possibly a pint of water. And the rest will be topped up and it will be put in the fridge or the freezer. So thank you for watching and please subscribe for more fun cooking in lockdown.